Happy first day of spring. That's right, while I'm recording this, it is the first day of spring. So long puffer jackets, hello minimal sports bras. Just kidding, I still wear my puffer jacket because I live in Northern New Jersey. Damn it. Gymshark just launched a bunch of new training sports bras that I'm sure you guys have already seen all over the site. Lots of fun spring colors, the newest edition, yes, the minimal training sports bra. We are here today to discuss a thing or two about these new bras, whether it's for you or just something you should avoid. We're also gonna follow up with a fun spring mix and match featuring these new minimal sports bras plus other training sports bras, just in case these aren't for you. In case you don't know, Training Collection is super affordable, has a huge range of different support level sports bras from next to nothing support to super high support. So if you're interested in checking out some brand new spring colors, some sports bras to add to your spring wardrobe, then you best stick around. Most of everything you see today is actually released on the website as we speak, but I know my Canada babes, y'all are struggling out there, I know. I know that they're a little behind with releasing some of the things on the Canadian website, but definitely stay posted. Follow me on Instagram because I will always announce releases there so you don't miss out. This video is sure to put you in a damn good mood, so if it does, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for weekly videos on all things activewear. We touch base on a ton of social media brands. We do try on hauls, unreleased hauls, in-depth reviews like today, and some fit fashion inspo. Thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. Now listen up, if you're interested in this sports bra, there's a lot that I have to say about this little thing, believe it or not. First and foremost, they came out with a really nice variety of colors, darks, lights, something for everybody. But for the sake of this really bright, fun spring video, I'm only gonna showcase my favorites, which are the light ones. For reference, I am a size small in everything you see today, and I'm a 34B bra size. If you're anything above this, I'm talking C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, Elemental P. I would definitely steer away from this. <laughs> There's zero, okay, zero, you see me? There's zero padding and no option to put a bra pad in here. I really wish there was a bra insert option. I think that would be nice. In other words, if it's a real cold day, you might wanna avoid taking this one out. Leave it in the drawer. What I think is so attractive about this sports bra is the backing. I think it is so pretty, all the multiple straps that just hang around back there. There's virtually no support in this sports bra whatsoever, okay? My first thoughts when I grabbed this out of the bag, I said this looks like the training ruched bra. It even has a little cinched ruching right in the middle. I thought for sure this is the ruched bra all over again, just a little bit itty bitty more low cut. No, no, it's not like that whatsoever. In fact, it fits entirely different. The training ruched bra is one of those bras that they hug my teeth so tightly and I feel so secure. But with the minimal bra, it's actually kind of got a little bit of room, especially around the side boob area, as you can see, like, look at that. There's some let up. So if you're in between, I would definitely suggest sizing down in this. And especially if your measurements are similar to mine, like I think I could have gotten away with an extra small. I am happy with my small though, because when you wear it for a long period of time, I notice right here, this band right here after a long day of wear, starts to dig in a little bit on me and it gets itchy. There's absolutely no adjustments either. Like you don't have that little plastic piece, like the ruched that you can move up and down and it loosens it and tightens it. You don't have this on here, even with all these crazy straps going on back there. You don't have that option. But my favorite part of this bra is the fact that on the back you can customize the straps. You can take each of these little straps off and then you can make it a halter top for crying out loud for summertime, are you kidding me? Or you could just have fewer straps if you'd like, crisscross them differently, have a little bit of fun with them. But my favorite thing is to make it look like an actual halter top. So if you're somebody who doesn't want any straps on the back, you want very minimal straps, make it into a really pretty halter for the summertime. Keep in mind, if you do take the straps off and make it into a halter top, Looks super cute, but it is a lot looser. So now you're really in danger mode, okay? This is gonna flip right up and show something you might not wanna be seeing. I have yet to actually wear this to the gym, and let me explain myself. The reason why is because I'm not there yet. <laughs> I don't feel totally secure wearing this to the gym because my gym, it can get cold from time to time. And I have worn this bra, well, I was a little chilly in my apartment and I saw a thing or two popping out, if you know what I mean. So that's just enough for me to say no. 
for the gym. If you're somebody in a warmer climate area, you know, you're really working up a sweat, you take your pump cover off and that's not an issue, then hell yeah, this could be a really great bra to just lift in. It's got that very bodybuilder minimal look to it. So it really is an attractive bra, but also keep in mind like, you gotta have some small titties for this. <laughs> This is that kind of bra that is for specific boobies only. And I know that a bunch of you gals have already said that in my YouTube shorts and on my TikTok. And I'm here to reiterate that, yeah, it is not for everybody. Now, if you're part of the itty bitty titty committee like me, then these will definitely make your girls look pretty nice. Not gonna lie, that V cut, that low V, that light, slight cinch. If anything, I would relate this more to the fit of the V neck over anything, but again, Still got a little bit of that let up going around on the sides here, so you know what I mean? So let's kick off the spring mix and match with what I'm wearing, okay? We got that, obviously the orange sports bra that you just saw. I actually paired it with their new biker shorts. I bet you didn't know this was a biker short underneath here, huh? I thought these actually looked a little bit like a melon mix. Nice fresh melon on a hot day. How about you, you see it? This is the beautiful thing about the training range. You can mix all day. It's nothing but solids going on in that department. So it's really easy just to intermix with everything that Gymshark has to offer. What are we thinking about the purple Vital Loose Fit shorts and the dragon pink training bandeau bra? I feel like these just flowed together. I don't really like pink or purple to be honest, but here I am, right? If this isn't such a spring, like an intro, introduction to spring kind of outfit. In fact, I'm sorry. I don't really like these to work out in these vital shorts, but I do like them for just going out because they kind of look like a skirt. So from far away, I'm looking like I'm just, I'm just ready for spring right now. What's cool about this low support sports bra is the fact that it does have adjustments on the back. So if you're somebody who prefers that, kind of adjust it, make it a little tighter. Definitely look out for these ones. All right, you guys saw this on TikTok and on YouTube Shorts. This combination right here is a match made in literal heaven. We got Moonstone Blue. Now, this is the minimal sports bra. If you're just like, no, with the whole minimal thing, like you can't, you can't get behind that. You got bigger hoo-hahs, you're blessed with the breasts. Then maybe look into the racer back because it's the same Moon, what did I say? Moonlight blue? Moonstone blue. Thank you. The moonstone blue color flows perfectly because you do have a little bit of that baby blue type element within the animal biker shorts, the new animal that just launched. So if you don't like print on print, you don't want too much of this dark, stark color, even it out, mellow it out with a little bit of that marshmallowy blue color. Very pretty. But if you're somebody who really loves this color, but too much print is just disgusting for you, you also have, look at that, huh? We got the bandeau in the exact same blue color as the animal. So you can spice it up that way if you'd like. And alas, my absolute favorite all time training sports bra in the whole wide world, the training ruched. I got this baby in alpine green and you guessed it, yes it does. It goes perfectly with the new alpine green fleck that just launched. We had a lot of blues going on in today's mix and match, but it's not spring without a really nice, beautiful green. And you are looking at it. This is the perfect spring green. I know, I know. We love sage, right? We love that color. What about a more saturated Easter basket green, okay? You know, like the grass in it? I think, Gymshark, if you're watching, I really do think we need way more yellow. Anybody else? We need more yellow bras because this with a yellow, huh. Forget about it, don't even talk to me about it. Speaking of yellow, we are here to cap off today's mix and match with none other than the new animal yellow biker shorts with the minimal, what is this? Like a taupe tan color, light almond color. This pretty beige tone goes so well with the little browns throughout this animal legging. So if you're looking for a real subtle piece to top off your ferocious bottoms, this might just be it. So don't get it twisted, all right? We have the minimal bra here, but if you need a little more support, check out the scoop neck that just launched too. Kind of prefer this one. I'm, I'm definitely prefer this one for working out. Like I said, I have yet to go to the gym in this. I might, I might just keep it for my home workouts. I haven't decided yet, but for a little more support, a little thick straps, adjustable, the scoop neck is something that still makes the girls look really fine and divine but still gives you enough support where you can really get down and dirty at the gym when needed. So yeah, what do we think about this? A little nude up top, a little bright 
Easter egg yellow on the bottom. I feel like you could really play around with this yellow that just launched because it is such a spring yellow. It's got that very faded look. It's not vibrant. It's not a sunflower yellow. It's definitely more of on the pastel border where it could look more like Eastery. You could pair with a purple bra or a pink bra. But I wanted to stick with just training sports bras for today's video because they are the newest in the training family. Hi right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I really want to continue doing these mix and matches for you guys since Gymshark releases so much so often. I feel like every season there's a whole slew of different possibilities at hand, so why not share them with you? I feel like you guys really like the mixes on my other platforms, so bringing it to YouTube, hopefully each each season we can definitely come up with new spicy combinations. Speaking of which, drop a comment with your favorite mix from today's video or if you didn't like any of them, drop a comment with a favorite mix that you're currently rocking. A huge thank you again to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video and a massive thank you to you for watching. So definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out these other videos I think you guys might really like, especially if you love Gymshark. Lots more new release videos to come, you better believe it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in my next video.